If you want to continue to follow our adventure, click subscribe. So you don't miss anything, click the bell notification. Is RV life, the community, the everybody wanting to go out and live this lifestyle, coming to an end? It's beginning to become an interesting question. And I talked about the three stages of development, emotional development, living in this lifestyle. The first stage is you're just, you know, excited and everything's great and boy, well, I can do everything and then you're traveling and then it's just perfect. And then the second stage, you're like, wait a minute, is this still perfect? Is this still exciting? You're trying to convince yourself that it's exciting. You're starting to see all the work and the money that you're spending and, and, and the hardship and the cold and the rain. And then the third stage is the realistic, the reality. Okay, I've come to the realize that either I'm going to continue this lifestyle or I'm not. But in the end, it's just life. And so then you really start to watch the other YouTubers and you start to see this degradation or you start to see profiteering. And I'm going to read a, a, a letter. It's a lengthy letter and I wish you'd bear with me through it just for a moment, please. I get a lot of letters like this where people are starting to see the, the decline in the sales pitch of the nomadic lifestyle. And uh, says, thank you so much for showing the true side of the lifestyle. Even the supposed big name YouTubers, lol, make light of how amazing the way of life is. Their tunes are changing after a year or so. That seems to be the start of the end of most dreams. Reality. It's very hard life after a year or so, and the beauty has worn off. The rose-colored glasses are broken. 70% drain their bank accounts. YouTube won't pay enough to live on because people stop watching. The mice, bugs, heat, freezing nights, no hookups 99% of the time. So the necessities of showering and having electricity now become a luxury, not the norm. No longer can you park just anywhere because so many before you abused the privilege. White vans are banned in many areas because people actually still think that they're stealthy after all the hype on YouTube. This lifestyle is definitely a choice, but one that needs to be thought out extensively. And the more people make channels showing the truth will most definitely help someone rethink that life-changing decision. Bob W., which is a very large YouTuber, now states that you need a minimum of $25,000 in the bank to not fail. LOL. So even Bob is telling everyone that they will fail. That says a lot. All of the Carolins on YouTube will be a uh, bad memory by this time next year due to the lack of new material and bad attitudes. Thank you for your channel. Yeah, I'm starting to see all this too, that you know, some of the other YouTubers are, are really uh, starting to change their tune as a result of us uh, little YouTubers. Apparently, and during last night's live feed, a lot of people were telling me that they really credit me for these big YouTubers to change their tunes. For the Bobs to say, okay, now you need $25,000. And for the Carolyns to start really talking about the bad. And a lot of them were crediting me because, you know, about a year ago, or, uh, I started changing the tune based on a couple scenarios that I had witnessed or experienced. Now, the first scenario I've talked about a lot is I met an older couple who came out here on the advice of, of, of Bob, actually, and decided, wow, this is a terrible lifestyle. And they didn't want anything to do with it, but they were so broke that they couldn't get back into a stick and brick. And then, of course, we had the pop-up camper fire. And when I started making good, bad, and ugly videos, man, I was attacked hard. I mean, real hard for a long time. Uh, and occasionally, I'm still attacked that I'm just too negative. And my response usually is, is well, if you want to go see the, the happy stuff, then go to the other channels because they're willing to sell it to you. But I'm not here to sell you the dream. I'm here to sh sell you the reality. You know, just yesterday I was I was told that all I ever show is scenery and a talking head. I need to lighten up. Well, perhaps they should heavy down. If you think about it, everybody wants to lighten up. They want me to fool them into believing this lifestyle is, is a good lifestyle. Well, if you look at what's going on on YouTube, you're really starting to see a breakdown in YouTube society. I mean, all kinds of things are, crazy things are all happening at the same time. You got a big YouTuber right now trying to sell uh, his nonprofit. He wants everybody to donate into his nonprofit. But then tells everybody that they, just like this lady said here in this uh, letter, he, he wants you to have $25,000 or 
in, in the bank before you come out and live this lifestyle, which I have advocated nonstop. You got to have tens of thousands of dollars in emergency fund. And now the biggest YouTuber who's selling this lifestyle is starting to say it. Complete change of tune, it seems. A lot of people have mentioned this is the first time he's mentioned that you got to have money to come out here. So it's interesting that that has started to change. There are questions now being asked to me, and I don't have the answers. If he's going to give away a free RV to someone, how did he expect them to have $25,000? If they had $25,000, couldn't they get their own RV? You know, these kind of questions are starting to be asked. You're starting to see, as she suggested, that the carowinds of the RVs, are starting to kind of break down uh, from the lifestyle and I can understand that being alone uh, for so long that maybe you do start to break down I know that uh, you know I'm with Carolyn this whole adventure I've been with Carolyn my my Carolyn <laughs> and it's been a great life I mean we we love each other and we talk about everything we're just best friends but now she's gone and she's living you know with her daughter who Again, I'll say just uh, just so for those that don't know, uh, her daughter's sick, and she's staying with her daughter until uh, her daughter passes. That puts me here alone, and it is difficult trying to stay in the tune of what I'm trying to say here. Being alone in your van, and it's snowing outside, or it's raining outside, or it's too hot to be outside, you're in your camper dealing with loneliness. Does that make you mentally break down? And then you see these others going out to these big events over there in Arizona. Van Bell just happened. And all you see is drama. Everybody's drunk and people parking on the roads and the cops are out telling people to move. It's all starting to crumble. All these big YouTubers who built this community, who wanted everybody to come out here, are starting to either say, wait a minute, slow your horses down a little bit or they're just they're breaking down and it's becoming real chaotic thanks for watching click like if you like the video and happy travels